Hello and welcome back to driveway. It's actually time to hit and try to take care of some of the suspension on the trailer. But it is like super windy outside. So bringing the camera out is going to sound terrible. So I'm going to talk a few things over here and hopefully we can merge that with some additional footage out there outside. So anyways, uh, our suspension, we got our arms, and I just need to weld up the beam that those arms attach to. And the big thing that I want to make sure that I get is I want to triangulate the flange from the C-channel into the actual bracket. So that way I can weld it to the cross member, and then I can weld it to the frame itself and it'll all be tied in together. Basically, all that I have to do is draw a couple lines, make sure I got it notated uh, where everything should line up, then I can bring everything inside and get that thing welded up. get ourselves a good line going on here. Now uh, let's take our bracketry and get it right up in there. All right, so we got this bracketry rigged up there. This is the rear one. So it's gonna have a slightly different offset than the front one, but we should be good to go. Essentially, we're just squaring it up with the magnet square and the other square, and we'll be ready to blast this thing in. And once we get that in, we will run a pin through here to the other one to see exactly where that one needs to sit as well. So, I believe now we just need to start zapping this thing. Well, it's not 100% perfect, but it does look pretty darn good. Our joint will fit right in there. We'll be pretty well set. Now we're gonna have to let this thing cool off. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day might be a little nicer outside and we can throw these things in. All right, so we got our cross members loaded up and zapped in there temporarily. You can see how everything lines up. We got our bar coming there. We're strapped there just to hold it up there. And then you'll see right up in here, we got like a little bit of space. Now luckily, since triangles are triangles, 
this maybe one inch space here equals probably a good three or four inches at the actual end. So that's where we won't have to worry about that hitting that. And then with the full range of the suspension. Or at least that's the way it's supposed to work. Anyways, our next spot is going to be figuring out our airbag cross member. So roughly saying we're going to go something along the lines of that. I think what we're just going to do is mark this cross member and drill a couple holes so we can just mount the bag up and it can be it. And once we got that marked up we can mark the rear one and we can just get her done. Alright, so the wind is kicking up again. It is kind of feeling like it's going to rain again, which is real fun and interesting around here because it didn't rain for like five straight months almost. Now it's been raining almost every day, it seems. Anyways, I'm getting the last suspension piece bolted up to our cross member. This way we'll get this last piece kind of hooked up here and then we'll be able to mark where on our axles everything goes. We can weld up our axles then we'll be like 90% done with this thing. Which that will be definitely nice. Now as you can see up here we already got the rear cross member attached. Airbags are in there. So we're sitting pretty good. We'll just have to get a clamp to compress that just a little bit more to get the brackets to where they're supposed to be. And we'll be pretty much set. So. I think we just need to weasel this cross member up here in the midst of all this wind. And hope for the best.
All right, we got the last of the fittings on there. Kind of keep the leaves and everything out of the airbags. They do stick up a tad bit higher than I want, but I think everything will be fine once we get all the decking taken care of. So we'll do something somewhat special in this area for the decking section. Boy, it's getting chilly and breezy out. But anyways, I'm gonna zap in this last cross member up there. Then I'll probably have to cut one more cross member for right in between here. And then we'll be done welding cross members. All right, so we are entering our last phase of actual fabrication here for the most part. We've got to put our panner bar in. These bars are pretty simple. If you're good looking enough, they just show up on your doorstep. And if you're not like me, you gotta build it yourself. But anyways, quick little weld on heim joints. We'll just mount it to the frame over there and then run it down onto the axle down here. That's about a five foot link. It should be good enough for what I need. So, for the most part, we're just welding it in up here and down there and we'll pretty much be set for that. There's still a lot of work to be done. I gotta yank out these axles, grind them down so we got a place to mount the control arms and the spring bucketed piece. But I think we're at a good stopping point for today because that's gonna take quite some time. So hopefully next time we'll be able to get this thing actually lifting on some air. Hopefully I'll have enough time to like finish weld some of these things, but that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully we get to see you again later.